Was there anyone who tried to warn us about something that happened but we didn't listen? Who? French General Ferdinand Foch reportedly called the Treaty of Versailles a 20-year armistice, e not conducive to lasting peace. World War II broke out approximately 20 years later. Ignace Semmelweis often described as the father of hand washing. In the 1800s he discovered that infant maternal mortality could be drastically reduced by doctors washing their hands between patients. He was largely ignored and his book got absolutely slated. This is supposed to have contributed to him having a mental breakdown and he died in a psychiatric hospital. In 2005, Courtney Love was asked what advice she'd give young, up-and-coming actresses. She said if Harvey Weinstein invites you to a private party at his Four Seasons hotel room, don't go. And for whatever reason, you didn't see her in many movies after that. Twelve DRW engineers resigned their positions the morning of the Challenger incident in protest against risking the flight. NASA launched anyway. Should have listened. Pearl Jam warned us about Ticketmaster years ago. Nobody listened, now we're stuck with only them. Bismarck corned the ruling German monarch of his time that Germany's status in Europe and the relative peace of the continent would last for only a short time. After his forced resignation, Bismarck said Jenna came 20 years after the death of Frederick the Great the crash will come 20 years after my departure if things go on like this. 20 years later, Germany loses World War I and almost collapses. Harry Marco Polos. He figured out what Madoff was up to, and the SEC still blew him off for years, presumably because the proof he was presenting required math to understand. President George Washington, in his address when leaving office. He warned against the danger of a two-party system in future politics. He felt that several parties on equal footing would be better. Especially in presidential elections. The more legitimate choices, the better. Every single junior officer working in Afghanistan for the last 20 years who universally called the Anna a worthless POS army and their government a hollow, dead money pit. Cynthia Rowley warned her FBI superiors in June 1 that names on their jihadi watch list were taking flying lessons but not interested in learning how to land. Her report didn't get read until October. While not to the degree that it ended up being but Eddie Murphy took a shot at Bill Cosby's holier-than-thou attitude in his comedy special Raw in 1987 during the height of The Cosby Show. Harry Marco Polos notified the SEC three times that whatever Bernie Madoff was doing wasn't legit and should be investigated, and all three times he was ignored. He talks about it in his book No One Would Listen. Check it out if you want to see a real facepalm example of government incompetence. Johnny Rotten attempting to warn people about Jimmy Saville. Seth MacFarlane has made fun of sleazy people in Hollywood for years before the Me Too movement. Help I just escaped Kevin Spacey's house says Stewie running naked through a crowd of people. Lots of experts warned about the FTX fraud. The writing was on the wall. Idiots chose to ignore the red flags and made huge investments. Common people was lured in by the perceived trust. In college, this was in like 92. Me and my Muslim roommate were watching something on TV about Osama bin Laden. And he said, this guy is determined to accomplish an attack on American soil. And it's going to happen in the next 10 years. At the time, I thought he was crazy. That would be a death sentence for anyone. I told him I'd give him all the money in my bank account if that ever happened. I was so sure. Yeah, we all should have been listening to the warning signs back then. Cassandra of Troy was pretty spot on about that wooden horse. The financial crisis that was given by economist Anna Schwartz in 2005. She warned that a housing bubble was developing and that it would lead to a financial crisis, but her warnings were largely ignored. David Attenborough, and I don't think we are listening, while well, certainly not doing enough. About 20-something years ago, I read articles in CBC about Eve teasing in India which was basically men groping women and how it would turn into outright gang rapes if the practice continued to be accepted. My mother of course she warned the 18 years old me about the scumbags I had as friends were going to hurt me one day. Did I listen? No. I was just so frightened of being alone friendless I didn't listen. Then I got hurt badly. The guy in the viral video who said leave Brittany alone. John Light and Johnny Rotten tried to warn us about Jimmy Savile in either 70s or the 80s and I think got banned from the BBC because of it. Courtney Love tried to warn people about Harvey Weinstein. Johnny Rotten tried to warn people about Jimmy Saville. Sinead O'Connor. Then we called her crazy and mocked her for two decades. TLC warned us about chasing waterfalls but based on my Instagram feed I swear it's fallen on deaf ears. 
my gut tried to warn my stupid ass about working with the people I'm working with on my bachelor's thesis. The project got terminated today and now I have to do it again alone. As my gut told me I should have done from the beginning. There is usually some warning that a person is going to commit a mass shooting. Edward R. Morrow warned us about the dangers of the television medium being used mainly for entertainment and how this would lead to an ill-informed population. Burry tried warning everyone about the housing bubble in 08. Coincidentally enough he's currently warning everyone about the coming financial collapse and the same amount of people are listening. Mothman warning about the bridge collapse. H.G. Wells said he wanted his epitaph to be I told you so. You damn fools. In The Land Ironclads 1903 he had written about a stalemated war fought by trench warfare that was broken by the invention of tanks, predicting what would happen in World War I. In The War in the Air 1907 he predicted how airplanes would be used in war, including aerial bombardment of cities, and saw his predictions come true in World War II. Gary Webb told everyone that the CIA was responsible for the crack epidemic in the U.S. He got his name smeared and was hounded into suicide or suicide depending how conspiratorial you want to get. He was also right. In 2002 I heard Hans Ritter former chief weapons inspector for the UN explicitly say there are no weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, but we seem to be invading them anyway soon, and he was 100 right. John Kenneth Galbraith. I haven't read his book The Affluent Society, but from what I've heard some of the warnings laid out about the direction of US society were largely on point and still relevant today. He foreshadows the environment movement, the culture around frivolous consumption and argues that there is a severe lack of investment in people. Bear in mind this was back in the late 50s. Most bad things that have happened had someone saying yo this is a problem before it happened. Ahem. UK here. Repeated warnings from anyone and everyone that knew what they were talking about that Brexit was a bad idea, and oh look it's massively hurting in multiple areas, and a majority of people now think it was a bad idea. George Carlin was basically a prophet about a lot of which he says. Bill Hicks warned us about Bush Jr. and the war in the Middle East. Then he died shortly after. Eisenhower warned us about the military-industrial complex taking over politics and we didn't listen. Now military and mega-corporations have completely taken over every aspect of politics. Climate activists have been warning us for quite some time, and I think we as a collective will be looked down on from future generations for not doing enough. Just a thought. Lots of people knew that Brexit was a stupid idea but they were ignored. And surprise surprise, it's a shit show. Billy Mitchell. He predicted a Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor in the 1920s, and warned the Navy that they needed to spend more money on air defenses and less on ships. Do not put your tongue on frozen metal. Michael Moore and many on the left warned that Hillary would lose to Trump. Dolphins. So long, and thanks for all the fish. Carl Sagan, the guy was talking about climate change 40 years ago. Mitt Romney warned that Russia was the enemy of peace. He was laughed at by both RS and DS. Rachel Carson. Silent Spring. Environmental Toxins. That guy from the big short that predicted the 2008 financial crisis. Ted Kaczynski in his manifesto. Besides all of the violence and killings, what's outlined in industrial society and its future is pretty bang on. Smart guy who definitely took the wrong approach. Edward Snowden with the NSA.